Hello, I'm Nishant Kadraj of uh, Fiji Global School and I've been here for the past two years. Uh, my J journey began in the middle of 10th grade when uh, one of my friends got into IIT Kharagpur for mechanical engineering. He was also at Fiji and I spoke to him and uh, got to know about Fiji uh, through him. Uh, so I was uh, motivated back then to, you know, uh, I thought I could try better and, you know, get an IIT. So initially, uh, and before December 2021, we were actually uh, done with all the admission procedures and we uh, we had uh, got a seat in this uh, Fiji Global School. Because uh, we chose Fiji Global School because uh, I wanted a place where I could uh, prepare for JE and also enjoy high school life. So that was the motive behind uh, choosing Fiji Global School. And my parents uh, also talked to a lot of people about it and got to know very well about uh, Fiji Global School. So that's why I joined uh, uh, Fiji Global School. And uh, uh, the classes for 11th grade started on June 6, 2022. I was pretty new to the system, so I took time to cope up actually. But uh, I followed whatever the teachers told me to do. And uh, initially, I was actually doing pretty well in all the class tests. All the class tests were actually pretty easy, so I was doing well and I was uh, getting good ranks in the class. So I was actually pretty satisfied. Uh, but then a few days later, uh, towards the middle of 11th grade, we had our uh, first national level test, which was uh, AS square TS, and it was actually pretty difficult, and I didn't really do that well in AS square TS. My score was actually uh, pretty low, and though it was good compared to the uh, rest of people in the class, it was still low uh, compared to my previous scores. Out of 180, it was only around some. 60, 70. So that was one of my least ever. So I was pretty demotivated, and you know, uh, but I I never stopped working. Uh, my teachers also told me to just use it as a learning opportunity and nothing more. So I never really stopped my work. I I continued working, and uh, uh, you know, it actually paid off. My 11th grade went, went pretty smooth, and all the other tests were just normal. And uh, you know, towards at the end, we had another uh, uh, full syllabus test. It was split into two, and uh, one half for one test and the remaining half for the other test. I actually took that test pretty seriously because it was the first ever uh, full test, I mean, full 11 syllabus test that we were going to write. So, uh, I had prepared really well. For, uh, and I was also, you know, just because I prepared well, I was also under, you know, I I'd always prepared well for all the exams, mostly. But this one was. Uh, the preparation that I had done for this exam was actually a bit more so I wanted to do really well and you know get a uh, very good uh, rank in the class but unfortunately I couldn't because uh, uh, because I panicked too much in the exam maybe so uh, I couldn't get a good score and I was demotivated again but you know there was no other option I just had to keep working it wasn't the score wasn't that bad but you know, it was still bad. I was expecting more, so uh, I wasn't. I, I still didn't stop working. I was. I was continuing. To, uh, I was continuing to put the work, and it all. It, it was all going fine. And 12th grade started just fine. And um, yeah, 12th grade was mostly exams and uh, test analysis and all that. Uh, and before the exams, I used to solve the uh, coaching uh, materials given by Fiji vigorously, like the package, archive, a uh, tab assignments, mostly because. Back then, I didn't know about any other external reference book or anything. So I was still, uh, I would say, the middle of 12th grade. I was just sticking to the Fiji material. After a point uh, that, uh, after a point where I felt that I was ready to go to the next level, I referred to some external books. They're not, uh, they're not really necessary, but you could try them. Uh, but just sticking to the Fiji module would do fine. Uh, the external books, I couldn't really. I did learn a lot, but. Um, I couldn't, I don't think they are actually necessary for JE advanced. Well. And uh, yeah, tw that's how 12th was going and it was all uh, going fine. My scores kept improving with every test. And the most important thing was not the test, it was actually the test analysis sessions that we had after the test. That's why we got to learn the most. Uh, after the test, uh, the, our, day, uh, our day would start with the test, it was a three hour test. And after the test, uh, we would discuss among friends, you know, uh, we would try to get the questions that we couldn't get in the exam. And the ones that we 
still don't get we go to the teachers for them and they clarify all our doubts so we got to learn a lot after every test actually and our, my score also kept improving with uh, all that uh, with every test my score kept improving actually but then one one good day we had this exam called rdx where it was just absurdly difficult and and i could not even attempt like uh, four to five questions per subject and it went it went like really bad i was completely demotivated and i didn't even want to study after that uh, but then I, after that i spoke to my teachers and they told me not to worry that much because the level of that paper is uh, made that i want for so it's better if you just take it as a learning opportunity uh, rather than uh, focusing on the scores that you get and uh, yeah that's how i took it and i tried to make uh, make the best out of it i also asked my teachers uh, the doubts that i had from those papers and got them clarified i i learned a lot of new methods solving uh, uh, solving that paper and doing the test analysis so that's why the test analysis is also very important and in every test analysis session you will uh, um, you'll find that uh, when you discuss with your friends or your faculty you'll find that everyone has a different outlook on the question and each person has a different method of solving that question so you'll at least learn four to five methods from for every question that you solve and out of them you could pick the best one i mean what whatever you feel would be easy for you you could pick them and next time you face a question like that you could use that method so that's what i did and yeah 12 it just kept going with all those exams and stuff and all of a sudden we were in uh, december just one month left to jm in session 1 and yeah we had a uh, full fledged preparation for game and with a lot of tests and uh, i guess we had written at least uh, uh, 30 40 tests no that I, that was that actually pretty less more than that 50 60 tests before game and session 1 itself and each uh, and we also did proper test analysis for all the tests and for game mains i also studied uh, ncert rigorously because that's obviously um, you know required for game mains and Yeah, I did a uh, well in game main session one. Not that well, but I I did well there. Uh, 99 point I scored 99 point three three percentage in game main session one. I wasn't that happy, but yeah. Um, after that, after game main session one, I was uh, preparing full fledgedly for uh, J advance for around uh, uh, 20 25 days, and then uh, came the uh, CBSE board exam. So I had to prepare for that, but uh, you know. Um, I didn't really prepare separately for the PBC board exam because in the class itself we were uh, we we didn't really um, the teachers didn't really teach us uh, JE and uh, CBC syllabus separately it was it all went hand in hand actually because uh, they just thought of the subject as a whole in in various steps that's all not uh, JE separately and CBC separately so I didn't really have any problem it was uh, it was just Uh, I just went through NCERT a few times and that was all. I didn't even solve any uh, previous year papers or anything for the board exam. Uh, yeah, I obviously did for computer science and English but not for the PCM subject. So uh, that's how the board exam went. And just uh, two days after the board exam, uh, we had um, J main session 2. Yeah, uh, two days. J main session 2 and uh, yeah, I didn't prepare separately for jm in session 2 i hadn't uh, revised ncert properly but yeah i managed to do well in session 2 do better at least better than the first attempt and i secured a uh, 99.48 percentage and uh, after jm in session 2 was done the only exam that was left was uh, j at one so uh, yeah uh, i prepared a big recovery for it and i spent a lot more time for j at one and i was doing questions after questions after questions from uh I was uh, redoing the package, I was redoing the archive, and uh, most importantly, uh, we got a book called the Grand Masters Package towards the end. I was also focusing a lot on it because after you're done with the package and the archive, or the only thing that's left for you is those additional books. That's when you could actually try to solve those, uh, get some extra edge over the others using those hard questions that you get from other reference books and. you know a grand master package like this and apart from that i had also written a lot of uh, eight years exams they were all really difficult uh, compared to jm ones so they actually prepared me for the worst in the worst ca- uh, the, 
uh, when you write your AATS for the first time, uh, you definitely will get demotivated because it's a lot difficult than J advanced and uh, that would prepare you for the worst at least. Trust me on this, it will prepare you for the worst. You can't see a worst score than that. Because my first AATS score was like uh, somewhere around, uh, but, uh, I, I think it was around 30 or 40 out of 180 one, uh, in one paper and the total itself was around uh, uh, 90 to 100 only, not more. So it will prepare you for the worst, so don't worry. Just say, uh, take that as a learning experience and um, just try to uh, improve yourself by learning from the mistakes that you do in all those AATS exams. So that's what you could use AATS for and apart from that I had also written so many tests conducted by our school itself and they also had really good questions. After every test we would learn at least uh, 3 to 4 new concepts and methods of solving a question. So it was all really helpful and uh, 4 to 5 days before uh, J advance uh, we had these uh, special booster classes conducted by our teachers and we actually had like uh, four to five questions directly from those classes in the J actual J advanced table in chemistry. Like four to five questions, uh, it would not take you more than 30 seconds. Actually, one question. You just see the question, you directly know the answer. That's all. Mark it. Not more than 30 seconds. That that was actually pretty helpful. I don't think I would have uh, gotten the score that I have right now in J advanced without those booster classes. I would have obviously lost around 20 marks without those booster classes so that was actually pretty helpful and yeah after that we had J advanced and it, it went well I managed my temperament well I managed time okay okay -ish. not that well but yeah I, I did manage time actually you know kind of yeah it, it went pretty well so yeah I did well in J advanced and I have a good score now thank you